guys, it's Talia. Today is Tuesday, February the 23rd, and I am back for another weekly installment. And guess what? I'm not going to tell you what to expect in this video. You're just going to have to wait and see what's in it. Sorry. Um, we're going to start off with something a little different today. Uh, and I want to show you, I have two, two. FFOs. They should really call these things FFFOs. Um, fully finished framed objects. And I know some of you have been waiting for a little while to see these, but unfortunately I was I wasn't able to pick them up and I finally went um Saturday, not Saturday, Friday, and got them from a framers, also known as Hobby Lobby. I think they did a pretty good job. Um Sorry. Okay. Um, the first one is the Lizzie Kate. Try not to show the glare here. Yeah, you get some of the window. Um, this is the Lizzie Kate. This is the ABCs of Parenting. Um, let me put it back a little bit. Oop, glare. There we go. And this one was done uh, two over two on. 20 count, 28 count, it'd be nice if I could enunciate today, wouldn't it? 28 count Lugana in Sprite from Picture This Plus. And it was framed Hobby Lobby, a nice little kind of, um, what you call it, shabby chic country type of frame. I think they did a pretty good job. The bottom is kind of still a little wobbly, but that's okay. I don't think my sister's going to make a big deal out of it. Um, I'm trying to get the paperwork here. Um, this is a... Um, the frame on this is actually... The, the frame itself is actually ended up being a 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter square frame. Custom framed, of course. And they put the nice little wire on the back of it. Um, the second one is one that I'm kind of proud of. It's like, it's my actual first finished object I've done, like, ever. Um, and despite the fact that I've been cross-stitching for like 25 years, at least 25 years. And it's the first finished thing I've actually had. This one is the... His name is Jesus. Let me put it a little bit... Eh, without, without the giant glare. Here we go. It says the... His name is Jesus. It's in my... You get to see the reflection of my lovely and messy room. Um, And this is... This was just done on just a standard navy Ada. And I couldn't tell you what the colors were because I don't remember. It's three different colors. Um, just of the kind of this lighter color, this kind of tan and a gold and kind of a copper. They were all in the same color family, I think. This one was a little bit more expensive, however. I like it. This one is my favorite. I think she'll like this one. Hmm. Hmm. Um, and this one, obviously with the mats and everything, uh, it was a little bit more expensive. This one ended up being a 17 and 3 eighths by 13 and 1 eighths um, size frame. Some job, of course. I think they're beautiful. I think they're beautiful. Um, my mom's gonna love this. This was, um, we've got the, the matting, the frame, the mat. There's a little piece of the wood running through here. I think we just picked, I don't know, I was thinking we had, I had picked two mats, but we just went with the one mat. And then there's a the little piece that runs along the inside there. Beautiful job. Beautiful job of them. Uh, I picked well. Um, 
So the next thing I want to bring up is the, the usual standard whips in progress. Of course. I'm sorry, isn't that redundant? Uh, okay. So I'll start out. I'll start out with something simple. Um, shake this off the brain. Got a little bit more done on the I Love Cross Stitching piece, which is being done for the We Heart Stitching Sal. And I know there's only like a week left in the Sal, but and I'm hoping I can get this done by then if I like hustle. There's that. Um, last week, I, I think I was like in the middle of this T right here. And I just kind of finished out. I still got a little, this is the G. And then the, up here you're going to have I heart cross and then stitch. And then there's a couple more of the thing, the list down here. So yeah. There's that. That is being done on a 16 count Ada. Which is... It's by a hand a cut it's by a hand dyer that's no longer around. Um dang dang it if I can't remember the name of them again. Um and the name the name of this color is called Golden Turret, which is kind of a nice um like a pale mustard. That's that's the only way I know how to describe it. A pale mustard. Um then we have the old Lizzie Kate again. Uh, I'm not going to take this off frame because I haven't done enough to do on the frame. Oh well, yeah, I'll, I'll take it off. Might as well. You can tell I'm always so, I'm always so prepared when I do these videos. Um, I kind of feel like I'm trying to rush through it now because my son can be home any minute. I have the house completely to myself until he gets home. I have no idea where my daughter went to with the baby. I got home earlier and they were gone. So, Lizzie Kate. This is how I've gotten on Lizzie Kate. Last week, I was just starting on this wording right here. I went out, did don't bite, and I am starting on the word appreciate. Right there. See, I didn't get much done. I didn't really have much time at work to get it done. So, it is what it is. So, that's my progress on them. And this is, um, it's being done on a Eighteen count Ada. I think yeah. This is being done on an eighteen count Ada. Um lovingly hand dyed by LJ. And the name of this particular color is Traffic Home. A little small little piece. And next up is Pokemon. And on Pokemon, I haven't really done much on it either. I worked a little bit on it yesterday. Um, it's really the only chance I've, only day I've even worked on Pokemon since last week was yesterday. And even though I really didn't want to, I really wasn't feeling it yesterday, but I worked on it anyway, um, just to get something done on it. Um, because I need to work on it some. Uh, I need to keep I need to keep plowing away on this thing. Um, and all I did was just more of the outline. I think I did all this outline on the wing here, down here. Yep. Yeah. I think my mind wants to count. There's something like 
seven or eight colors in this bird. And there's three just in the outline. So there's that. And I did the um, outlining around the mouth here so you can kind of tell better where his mouth is. And there's actually another foot that comes down right over here, but I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. I'm hoping to get him completed at least by my birthday that would be lovely so yeah there's that I'm already sick of this project I don't ever know what I'm getting myself into That's that. Not much done on any one thing, but just kind of plugging away on a bunch of different ones. Um, and I have a little bit of a surprise. I decided to pull out a, a whip that I have not worked on forever, like ever, forever. Um, just because I felt like doing something a little different. It was kind of burnout, not really burnout, but I was just kind of a little, didn't feel like working on anything that I had going. I wanted a little change of pace. Um, so, yay, goodbye light. So, I pulled out something that I haven't worked on in a very long time since back somewhere probably around video two or three. Um, I have to go back and double check. But I pulled this out. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry. I had to make sure I had it upright the right way. This is my psychedelic seahorse. Free pattern. Don't remember where I got it from. Sorry. Um. Actually, it was from a site called um, a, a blog that's apparently barely maintained called Hancock's House of Happy. And, this. and yesterday, I'll um, try to insert a picture of where I was at before. And yesterday, I got um, this this section of green done, and this section of green done, and this little section of green done. And just to have a little bit more color, I did this section of pink. This actually is a pink, believe it or not. And it's not coming up. It looks red, but it's pink. But yeah, this is my psychedelic seahorse. I think it's really cute. Even though it's on 14 count Ada, it's really cute. Really pretty. Um, obviously, I'm not getting great coverage with the two, um, two strands of DMC. But it's okay. Um, I could see myself, if I ever do this again, if I ever do this pattern again, Obviously, it's going on a smaller count. Uh, on a smaller count. I always say smaller count because the squares are smaller. I could see myself doing this on a larger count fabric, possibly a 16 or 18 count, or even a um, an even weave, um, possibly a 36 count. Is it 36 count? 32 or 36 count, the equivalent. Um, and then maybe changing the colors up a little bit. But yeah. So yeah, that was my surprise. And then I have the Pisces. Pisces Needle Minder. Yeah. From Minding My Minders. Who unfortunately is on a hiatus right now. I can understand her. Her business has actually grown too much. And she's just, she needs a little bit of me time. Which is cool. Um, and lastly, something I forgot to mention 
something I forgot to go over last week. And I know it's not super important, but it's something I like to do because I like it when people do the same. Um, so that you can see what's in these things. Um, I had gotten my issue, the April 2016 issue of Cross Stitch, just Cross Stitch. Which the post office butchered, by the way. Just be glad that there was no pattern on the inside cover. Um, just kind of quickly go over what's in here. Um, and the ones that I like the most. There's one in here that I instantly fell in love with. And it's already been added to my Mania starts. First one is Birdsong Sampler. Um, it's done in all green. It's done in one color of green. But you could change out the color if you wanted to. Um, there's a couple, a couple of specialty stitches. Um, this is one of the ones that I kind of like. Um, there's no immediate need to do this, but it would be one, if I were going to pick one, um, just needed something to do one day, this would be one that I would pick. This is called the, is it just a succulent? And FYI, a succulent is a cactus. Um, cute little pattern. Takes very many colors of green, obviously. And this would actually be good if you want to participate in the March Not Easy Being Green style, which I'm not taking part in. This would be a good thing to, to do. This or that, that first one. Because it's all green. All green. I don't know, there's a couple of yellows in there too, but it's 95% green. Then we have Spring Quartet. Cute little kids. And then we have Pattern, 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 Pattern. Um. This one is kind of weird. I don't like how it's cut off. Like, the flower's cut off and the bird's cut off. This is the pattern. Like, right here. This right here is the pattern. And it's just called Hummingbird. Um, it's it's a pretty pattern. It's just, it's just something about it that bugs me. Um, and then we have a floral trivet. Set. And I believe these are being are um, done on the um, like the canvas block canvas. Pretty. These are these are pretty. I just don't know if I would ever see myself actually stitching them. Maybe in a few years. I have nothing better to do. Um, it says professionally framed. So, I don't know how they've mounted them. And then you have the special feature on Mirabilia. Followed by the Queen Anne's Lace Mirabilia Fairy. Um, she is gorgeous. I'll, I'll give them that. Not my type. Not my type of thing. Um, then we have the Hardanger um, Samplers Band 2. And the first one was in the last um, issue. I was about to say the last episode. The first, um, first band was in the last issue. The um, March issue. Um, the first band is this right here. And this right here is going to be your second band. And then again, maybe one day when I'm old and gay, I might try Hardinger. And they do have a bonus one in here. It's a candle mat. Hardinger candle mat. It's pretty. 
And then we have the Henriette Barat, Barat sampler, all red. And then, if I can get past the eggs, the cross Easter egg. Obviously, this is a specialty stitch. There's actually four of them. And then you got some more specialty stitches here. And, yeah, this thing is just littered with specialty stitches. This is my commentary, please. And then we have Bunny's Basket. And then, this is the one that I instantly fell in love with, and I am going to be doing it in Mania. Woven Cross. This is gorgeous. And it's actually, it's done, the sample here, is actually done on a piece of fabric that is from, um, Hand Eye Fabrics by Stephanie. I'm debating on whether or not I want to I want to do it on the on the sample fabric or not. It's very pretty. I don't. To me, this frame is too big. I think it needs to come in just a little bit, but that's just me. Just me. But this is a gorgeous cross. Um. And what is this? It's been it's been done on. It just says a piece twenty eight count, Ariel's Grotto Lugana, from Hand Eye Fabrics by Stephanie. So, um, I've been looking at a couple of similar fabrics on one two three stitch, from um. Not Zweigert, um, Weichelt, one of, one of those two. And then you got Shamina, a gorgeous little black work pattern. And then we got on pins and needles. And then there's the, I don't know, I'm going to say this name wrong, even though I'm, I have Irish in my family history. Um, but I know nothing about Irish, so. This is the Clado, Clado, Clado ring. I'm going to go with Clado. And I'm pretty Irish. That'd be another good thing um, to do for... Um, March, the March sow. I believe somebody on either Stitch Mania or Cross Stitch is Fun, one of the, one of the different Facebook groups, I saw somebody had actually already completed it, um, because they posted a picture of it. And then we have Spring Chickadees. And then... The... Seasons in chalk for spring. We had the one in the last last issue for winter, and here's your spring. And it looks like this is your cross stitch one. And I think this may be the last one here. Is the Monet's Garden, a uh, little candle wrap thing. What is this? I don't know what this is. I think it's a candle wrap, obviously. It's another type of uh, parting or pattern. So. 
But that's all in that one. Um, I'm definitely, like I said, I'm definitely going to be doing... Oop, sorry. One more. The, the Christmas Stitch. It's winter. Little card piece. Oh, my man. Um, yeah. Perforated paper, DMC, Reap Style Works, Stencil Art Sample Threads, Gentle Art Simply Shaker, Sample Threads, and Needle. And to finish it off, Piece Brown Cardstock, Glue, Stick, and Bone Folder. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the last one. But, yeah, what I was saying, definitely going to be doing that woven cross. Um, Mania. I just love that. Like I as soon as I saw it, I just instantly fell in love with it. And it just like bam, like it just I have to do it. Um yeah. So that's all. And then we have the whole project gallery right here. Um, but yeah. This wasn't too long of a video. I don't I don't think I have anything else to say, but knowing me, I'll probably think of something as soon as I stop recording. Um, yeah. So I guess since that's it, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. And I hope you guys have a wonderfully stitchy week. Um, and as always, have a blessed week, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, told you I was going to forget something. Um, I forgot one of the big um, updates. I forgot to show you my Lost Boys. Um, got a little bit of progress done on the black of his head. Um, not much. And I've completely given up on the... Um, cover because it's, it, it makes it a little bit heavy so yeah there's my progress on Lost Boys if you can remember last week I was just working on I had just finished up all the brown right here and just got some of the black done um, I'm gonna try to work on it some some today um, I've just been so busy already this morning probably won't get a lot of time in it but um, I figure if I can get at least a couple hours two or three hours um, at least it's better than nothing. So, but yeah, I, I've completely given up on the, on having the frame cover on here. Because it makes it heavy. Um, and it's just, it's easier for me to just kind of let all the fabric hang and just kind of, um, work my way around it. So, yeah. But yeah, um, again, I knew I was forgetting something. Leave it to me, I'm always forgetting something. This is why I need to start writing things down. That's it. So, yeah. That's all for today. Um, like I said, I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.